It's going to take some world-beating spade work if we're going to meet our climate targets. Here on the bogs near Manchester, the restoring the peatland, a key weapon in our fight to cut carbon from our atmosphere. Peatlands are really, really important. They can potentially store and hold and sequester huge amounts of carbon, but when they're dried and drained and, and exploited for, whether it's for agriculture or peat use, then they turn from that store of carbon to carbon emissions. Work like this is crucial to meeting the government's target of reaching net zero emissions by 2050. But today came an independent assessment of the government's efforts across the board, and it's damning. The programme that the government has in place is not going to achieve net zero. It is too risky and there are too many failures in the programme at present. The Climate Change Committee says the UK has made progress when it comes to renewables. Emissions from electricity generation have fallen by 70% over the last decade and electric cars. Sales have doubled between 2020 and 2021. But there are failings in farming and land use where emissions remain high and in the energy efficiency of our homes. Ours are the leakiest in Europe. And the report comes as the government is having to decide whether to reopen a coal mine in Cumbria. Amid a cost of living squeeze, some Tory MPs here are calling for pragmatism. It's in all our interests to reduce our carbon emissions. Uh, we've made huge strides in that and we'll continue to do so. But I've been clear throughout, as a supporter of reaching net zero by 2050, that my constituents must not be poorer or colder for it when we get there. But climate experts say reopening coal sends the wrong signal and doubling down on net zero will actually reduce costs. And you can see why in Manchester, to cut emissions, they're insulating social housing and installing heat pumps. That's a heat pump. It's not costing me anything. There's no, no heat going through the pipes or anything. But why is the flat still warm then? Why is it so warm? That insulation does its job. George has benefited from this council scheme. I don't even think about the heating anymore. And did you used to, did you used to play on your mind, did it, before? Well, the cost did, yeah. And the costs come down? Well, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, it's come down a hell of a lot. Schemes like this show what progress can be made. Our emissions are almost half what they were three decades ago, but experts say we can still aim higher. Deborah Cohen, News at 10.